Hello friends. This is a totally random video tonight. My face is newly cleansed. I don't know what is going on with my lighting today. Yikes. But here's what we're doing. I decided that <laughs> there's too many people wearing a mask and not being real. Okay, so I'm just gonna be real. And I got this mask from Sephora. Honey, oh, what is it the lady tonight? Oh. So, honey mask, it says it's nourishing. That's what I need, nourishment, because I love my premium nutrition. Why not put something nourishing on my face, right? So, anyway, I got this mask, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I should put on a mask. And then I thought, oh, I could go live and put on a mask and show people how Yes, you can show up and be who you really are. You don't have to have the perfect hair and the perfect makeup. However, I like doing my hair and my makeup, so there's nothing wrong with doing your hair and your makeup, right? But the thing is, you will be happier when you're being you. <laughs> so I decided I would go live on Facebook with this. I just did it over on my Instagram if you follow me there. But why? Because I wanted to show you all that I can show up online with my hair done and all that. And I can show up online with no makeup and something funny on my face. It doesn't matter. Trisha, are you doing a mask tonight? <laughs> I figured I should do a mask. I, I got one at Sephora, so I'm putting it on and I'm doing it online. I'm doing it live. Why not? So I was going to visit with you all tonight about taking off the mask, the mask that you wear, the mask that you hide behind, the mask of the priorities or, you know, expectations that people have of you. And then they try and put you back in the box when you don't perform to that. Now, that can be very frustrating for some people. They actually can be frustrating for a lot of people because, right, holidays are here. We're around a lot of family members. There's a lot of people that have certain opinions about you and how you should be. <laughs> and you'll probably hear them. You'll probably hear the drama or the gossip. People might be negative. Who knows? But the holidays can be very stressful times for people. So I wanted to give you some tips on how to have the best holiday ever. First of all, decide that you're going to show up and be who you are. Don't hide it. Like, just be you. So, that's why I'm choosing to wear the mask as part of this live stream tonight because I wanted you guys to see how you can show up who you are. I wanted to do a mask, but I also wanted to teach at the same time, so I went live. <laughs> that's what I did. And I decided that um, I'm just going to keep pushing it up because it does slide down. Jessica, hi. Are you doing a mask with me tonight? Trisha said no. <laughs> but if you don't have a mask and you want to do a mask, you want to take care of your skin, um, you can use pre or you can use raw honey. I was gonna say you can use premium raw honey because we're all about premium here, right? Um, so, what is the deal though with the holidays and being aware of our emotional thermometer? Um, is that going into the holidays, if you have a plan for how you're going to show up and if you're just not going to be available for any gossip, drama, or negativity, um, maybe there's certain times you need to step out of the room, have a time out, um, maybe go for a drive, maybe tell people um, in your family that this year you don't want to get involved in the same old stories or drama. There's nothing wrong with changing it up a little, right? There's nothing wrong also with saying no. If somebody is asking you to do something or go somewhere and you're not ready to do that or you have something else on your agenda, just say no, it's not a priority for me right now. It's totally cool to say no. Just gonna say, I'm not doing a mask. Yay, let's mask again. I like doing these masks. And um, I told the people over on Instagram I would do this every week. So if you want to join me there, we can actually go live together and both be wearing masks. And I think that would be pretty funny. <laughs> we could be talking about all the craziness in our lives and how we survive it. Because <laughs> there's got to be some tips that you can share, Jessica, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, doesn't this like, even make my smile funny? <laughs> Part of what I'm doing is just laughing and having fun, which is 
helpful because it de-stresses, right? So I don't have much battery life left on my phone, but I wanted to come on here and share with you guys how important it is to take off your mask this holiday season, to be prepared for extreme happiness this season. You don't want to be going through the holidays sad and stuck and lonely feeling, but it takes, it, it takes you as part of the equation to connect with others, right? So making that decision that you're going to connect with other people, you are going to have a healthy holiday season this year, you're going to drink water first and eat the veggies first so that you don't beat yourself up because you splurged on the goodies or you drank too much alcohol and you got a headache the next day. <laughs> like those are some of my tips when it comes to feeling my best during the holidays is I will, I make the decision going into whatever situation that I'm choosing to be happy. I'm choosing to look at the lesson and the bright side. I'm looking at always drinking extra water, always prioritizing sleep. Some nights we stay up later, that's okay. I feel like my mask is starting to turn into a beard. I think this is totally appropriate. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I just had to. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Santa Claus a little bit. No? Yes? <laughs> Drop that Santa Claus emoji for me in the comments. Um, and here's the other thing. It must be really stretching out because now it's coming down over my mouth. This is going to be funny. This is going to be real interesting. I need to find really um, nourishing and comfortable masks because if you know of any, let me know. Oh, there we go. Now I can talk again. There we are. Um, also, this says that it's honey, but it doesn't taste like honey. It's sour and gross. Mm, I think raw honey might be better. Maybe next week, forget this type of mask. Maybe next week I'll just do an actual honey mask. I already have honey in my cupboard. Do you have honey in your cupboard? Jessica, we doing our honey? Kevin, I'm doing my mask. You should be doing yours too. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm even having a backdrop tonight. <laughs> you know why? I'm having a backdrop because if I don't, it's too washed out because my wall is white. So I needed the contrast. So yes, it's a backdrop. It's hanging on a frame. I have my own video studio here and it works for me. Kevin, you should have gone live with me. We could have done our mask together tonight. Shall we plan to do that next week? We'll do it together. It'll be so fun. We can do it on our Instagram and our Facebook. Why not? Was you, were you having issues with your mask? I'm having issues. Hey Chastity, how are ya? I'm doing a face mask live on video because I'm talking about taking off your mask and being real in who you are for the holidays. I got this incredible honey mask from, I think it was Sephora. I got it somewhere free. But the problem is it doesn't taste like honey. It actually tastes gross <laughs> and it's sliding off. So I'm, I'm not gonna give this one five stars. <laughs> this one is not getting my five stars. Well, Kevin, this will be very entertaining next week. I had to put the mouthpiece up over my nose, see? <laughs> it's, an, it's slung up over my nose, so it'll stay in place. And I'm using my, um, my ear pods. Are they clanging against my earrings? I just realized that might be happening and that would be annoying, so I'm sorry if that was true. Um, but essentially, we were just talking a little bit about managing your energy for the holidays how to have an amazing holiday season, set the intention that that's what you're gonna do, set the intention that you're gonna be seeing people, but you're going to experience all the joy, all the peace, and all the love. And you're going to spread all the peace, the joy, and the love, right? Why not? And replace your doubt with faith. I like to go into situations with people assuming that they like me assuming that it's all gonna work out for the best. Instead of going into situations worrying that someone's talking about me behind my back or has a negative opinion or whatever. I mean, when you're in leadership, there's all kinds of people talking about you all the time. And so you just gotta decide, whatever, who cares? We're going forward, take off the mask and be who you are. Don't worry about what they think or what they say. Because really at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. And they don't pay your bills anyway, so let them just have their fun doing what they do. And um, Jennifer, yes, ugh, what? What are you saying? 
<laughs> whatever, what? <laughs> take off the mask. I know. Yes, I know. Take off the mask. It can be hard. But you know what? Once you go live on Facebook wearing a face mask like I'm doing tonight and looking like a total, I don't know how I say it, crazy person, <laughs> then nothing really is too bad, right? <laughs> I know people can be challenging, but you know what? That's their story that they're writing. I always say they made their bed. They made their bed. And yeah, complainers, they can be frustrating, but just limit your time that you spend with them. I know, you gotta do you. Well, thanks for joining in tonight. I hope this was fun. I'm curious if any of you have ever tried a real raw honey face mask. Um, I, I have a picture from when my cousin and I were growing up. And well, we were, well, maybe we were in college. And what we did was we took oatmeal, banana, and honey, and we mashed it all together and we put it on our faces. And I don't think we made, I don't think we added enough honey because the pictures we took, you guys, it has like glops just falling and dripping off of our faces. Because here's the funny thing, when you put the honey on, it heats up and then it starts to melt. So um, a raw honey mask is very effective, but they are very, 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 very messy. <laughs> So, whatever it is. What's a bubble face mask? Jennifer, tell me. I don't even know what that would be, but if it's funny, I'll do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? I like to have fun, so I'm all about that. That's part of taking off my mask is, you know, for so long, I always thought I had to show up perfectly <laughs> with a perfect everything. And, yeah, not, it's just, you know what? The more real and authentic I was about who I am, the more successful I became because I stopped worrying about what everyone else thought. And we don't have that much energy to spend on worrying about what other people think, right? Oh man, this face mask must be drying or sliding. I'm not sure. Yeah, it slid about a half an inch. Let's see if I can help it by wrinkling my forehead up. <laughs> I can't believe I did this on my video, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know if you want to do another masking. We need a fun name for it. Let's mask and unmask at the same time. So we're chatting about the things that most people don't want to chat about. And then we're doing our face mask, nourishing our skin. What do you think? You game? You want to do that? I do. I think it'd be really fun to make it a thing. <laughs> so whoever wants to do that with me, let's do it. And let's have fun because life's too short to be too serious or miserable or concerned about what other people think. Yeah, Jennifer, send me the info. I want to hear, see what that is. I had a, I will take this one off so I can finally relax my face. Do you guys like my backdrop? It's new, I just got it on Amazon. And I got it because my I have a whiteboard back here and it's my only um, wall that I can put the whiteboard on. And so I had to have, I had to have a backdrop. It's literally like this backdrop, you guys, is literally the same backdrop they would have used at your school pictures. <laughs> like it's that same, just different variations of gray. And um, the lighting, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's Facebook, if it's the app with the lighting situation, or if it's my, if my ring light has gone faulty. I'm not sure. I'm going to take these off because they kept rattling. I got these earrings, you guys. I was so excited. I got them over the Black Friday sale on Anthropology. I don't know if you get their app, but they're rose quartz. See? Rose quartz. This is what I see the YouTubers do they show it like this, but for some reason their light's not washed out. You can actually see what they're showing. <laughs> Here I can't, but these earrings, I just love them. They're just cute and they're unique and they've got that rose quartz, which are so fun. So anyway, those are a few of my things that I love. Oh, I can show you some other things I love because I have them handy. I have some amethyst. Ah, oh, see, this is terrible. You can't see this at all. I don't know what my lighting is doing today. Some more rose quartz. I like, I like crystals. 
I don't necessarily believe that they hold certain powers for me, but I don't judge people who do think that. And I do know what each one means. This one's citrine. Money. And this one is a clear quartz. See, I found a bunch of these at a, um, a, a fair at the park this summer. And I have them on my desk because I have a bunch of stuff just sitting here. And I'm remodeling. And it's a mess. Everywhere is a mess. Every single place in my house right now is a mess. Drives me nuts. Michelle, you're too cute. Thanks for hopping on. Barbara, hi. We just did them at face mask. I just took it off. It was this one of these paper masks. You know, this fad started in Korea. Did you guys know? And I just did the mask, so I did it live. Yay! We did it. So, I think that I should, these are the types of videos I should put on my YouTube channel. Maybe. But I don't know how good the sound is. Do you guys think the sound is okay? And is it weird to watch a video with someone who has these AirPods in for sound? Because I could hide it under my ears if it's distracting. <laughs> Can you still hear me okay? And then we also were just chatting about my backdrop because someone made fun of me for it, I think, in her comment. I couldn't tell, <laughs> but it felt like it. And um, just wondering if you liked my backdrop too. It really is a backdrop that's just right out of a, looks like a photography studio. <laughs> you have them too. Michelle, do you, do, do you make videos wearing your AirPods? Kevin, do you? Maybe this will solve my problem because I'm procrastinating big time around my YouTube channel. And I mean big time. You know, I've had over a million views on YouTube and Basically, I've just consistently made videos and posted them there. And sometimes there's some continuity and sometimes it's random because I seem to have this mind that loves to learn and then teach it. <laughs> so a lot of my stuff might seem a little random, but, I, but trust me, somehow they're all connected. The way that it's connected is I would love to always see people living and designing their life, uplifting and inspiring others. Um, eliminating the toxins where they can, using premium nutrition for their bodies and their kids, their family. Yeah, you do, Mindy. Thank you so much for sending people to my channel. My channel is elisetv.com. Very easy to remember, elisetv.com. And the thing about that channel is I have, I'll be, I'm going to share this. I have three FabFitFun boxes that I ordered specifically to do a review on my YouTube. Because <laughs> I thought that would be a good use of, um, you know, my new studio. Which I'm, I'm gonna say is not, this is not, nowhere near a production studio. I really wish it could be. If any of you know someone that can do video that lives in my town, let me know. <laughs> I'll hire them. We'll get our, my studio dialed in. I have so many ideas on what I want to teach on my videos and then I don't because I feel like I don't have good sound, I don't have good lighting. I know it's just a form of sabotage. I know this, I teach this. <laughs> but yes, I'm being real with you. That's my sabotage, that's what I'm doing is just making it very challenging, right? Um, so, uh, you know what, Kelly, I think what, I think that what, I think what people do like about me is that I'm smiling always, which I had to teach myself how to do. And I show up consistently. Because also, there's a lot of people that don't like me. And I know this because they make sure to let me know. And that's just how it is. So it's going to be the same for you. You can't be everybody's favorite uh, leader or friend or whatever. Right? You can't be. It's just not possible because we're human. And so we can't worry about that. I'm rubbing some more honey on my face. Oh, my skin's kind of burning. Do you think that this honey could make my skin burn? I think it's because I'm using this mask. It's not only honey that's the ingredients in it though, actually. This probably, actually now that I'm reading the ingredients, I couldn't read them earlier because it was too dark in here. <laughs> now that I have the ring light on and I can see, I'm noticing some ingredients that we don't really want to put on our faces. So don't buy this mask, that's what I'm gonna say. 
Honey Nourishing by Lapkos. Don't buy that one. It's got some ingredients in it that um, probably you shouldn't put on your face. And that's probably why my skin is burning, to be honest. Okay, that's going in the trash because I don't need to remember that. Okay. Yeah, well, Kelly, true. Before I was thriving, I was not very happy and I was rather grumpy and I actually got involved in a lot of drama. And so, you know, I can admit that. I own it. That it wasn't the, I wasn't living my best life. I wasn't uplifting and inspiring others. But it starts with uplifting and inspiring yourself, right? So if you're feeling uplifted and inspired from what you're exposing yourself to, whether it's books, podcasts, videos, live streams, I don't care. If it's uplifting and inspiring you and you feel uplifted and inspired, you're going to be able to be uplifting and inspiring to other people because you'll get your cup filled, right? That's why we say we love going to the live events with our team members because then we get our cup filled. We feel better. Oh, I just had a burp. Because we're unmasking, I'm just going to admit it. I don't have to hide that. <laughs> if we were all just hanging out in my living room, I would have been like, oops, excuse me, sorry. Um, just whatever. This is just life, you know? Sometimes you have a burp. I'm wiping the face mask off. Because I don't want that stuff on my face anymore. Because I read the ingredients. Because I could finally see. Because I had some light. <laughs> so, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, let me know in the comments. Yes, this is a backdrop. And it's microfiber. So it doesn't wrinkle. Even better. However, because we're under construction here. I don't know where my clips are. So I can't stretch it out. So it kind of looks like this, whatever, doesn't matter. Hope it's not distracting though. What's distracting to me is how the lighting keeps changing. When it's like that, when I, my hands are like this, it's perfect. People watching are probably going, what on earth is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is my Mickey Mouse pose so that my lighting looks the best. <laughs> okay, I love you guys, good night. I gotta go tuck in kids, I gotta get myself ready for bed. And then tomorrow's my workout day, so I'm excited for that. And I feel like I have some other big news. Oh, I do. Tomorrow, my big news is my horse, Copper, is coming home. He's been at a trainer. I had, um, uh, this summer, we saw a Facebook post and someone's mare died giving birth and the baby didn't have any milk. And so this person was asking for someone who had a mare that had milk um, and still had a colt on her. And we did because we had weaned her colt, but he would still suckle her through the fence. <laughs> so, um, and he was 11 months old. Whoa. So we wouldn't have thought that a mare who had been nursing up this baby for 11 months would still be able to produce good milk. But she did for this orphan foal. I mean, think about how incredible that is. That baby would have died without my mare and her milk. So the owner is a very well-known horse trainer in our area, and he said, I will train your horse for free this fall, and you cannot get on his schedule. So believe me, I was like, yes, take Copper. And so he did. And so Copper comes home tomorrow. So excited, so excited. <laughs> I know, isn't that a good story? I love that story. I'm gonna post a picture of the baby in the comments and guess what we named that baby? Starts with an H and ends with a Y. Anyone guess? <laughs> happy. We named her Happy. She was just, she's the cutest thing. She grew up so beautifully, so beautifully. And I mean, my mare produced the best milk for her. Everyone was amazed. It really should have been some sort of documentary because it is that rare that it happens that easily, especially with a mare who gave birth to that full a year prior. Hello, you all. If any of you have nursed a baby, you know, the milk that you produce after a year, two years, it's not the same milk that you produce when you have a newborn. And so our vet and the, um, the owner of the full didn't think it would work out, but it sure did. And that baby sure is cute and healthy. And it's a quarter horse, which is a really big round butt. <laughs> so baby got back, that's for sure. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. And I'm excited to do another one of our unmasking videos while we mask. And we'll do that next week. How's that sound? Let me know what night works best for you. 
whoever votes the most often for whatever night will do it. Maybe it should be on Mondays. That would be fun because of the M Monday masking money mindset. I mean, we have so many M's. Motivation. There's a lot of M's. Anyway, goodbye. This is how my brain works. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Talk to you soon.